So the first problem we'll be solving in this challenge or this case study will be related to comparison. And I'm sure you've heard about comparison in SQL. So SQL uses comparison operator to compare values and return a Boolean result, which is true or false. So these operators are commonly used in where clause. I'm sure you've seen us use where a lot, where we say where is greater than this, where is less than this, where and, and then we use this to filter based on specific conditions. Some common comparison operator that you can actually use is equal to not equal, which is which you can actually show with this sign or this sign, greater than, less than, greater than or equals to, or less than or equals to. These are the basic comparison operator that you can actually use to compare things in your SQL query. So let's try and solve the problem number one. So here we have a problem solving case one that stated that we should find listing with a price greater than 500. Listing with a price that is greater than 500. Now, I can either continue writing this MySQL from here, but because we have not really explored the Azure Data Studio. Now, I can also decide to say, I want to go and write MySQL query from Azure Data Studio, right? Which is what I show you initially. So you can either open Azure Data Studio and just explore it from here. But if you have it downloaded, if you right click on your database here as well, you can also see Azure Data Studio, Azure Data Studio. So once I right click on my database here, and I'll see Azure Data Studio and I can click on new query. Okay, so once I click on Azure Data Studio, this kind of pop up and this open up, then I can click on, once I click on that, then you see that Azure Data Studio kind of open up right now. And once it's open up, I can close this one that is coming here and it's showing me Azure Data Studio. And you can see this has been connected to my database directly because I click on Azure Data Studio from there. And then you will see that you see my database name here. You will see that I am currently using the Airbnb case study server, right? Which when you look at it up here. So which means I can start running my Azure Data Studio and start solving problem. The reason why I like Azure Data Studio is because you can actually customize this editor to whatever you like. You can change the color. I think the default color is usually white, but you can change the color, which is because I've changed mine now to dark. How you change your color is you go to file. Under file, you will see preferences. Then under preferences here, you will see color team. So under color team, I'm currently using the dark Azure Data Studio uh, default dark. I think the, the default is usually the light one, right? You can also use the Kimbi dark. I think the Kimbi dark also kind of makes sense. If I go back to preferences again, color team, you can also use the Monokai. Monokai also make a lot of sense. You can go to preferences, uh, color team, and also use Monokai Dim. Monokai Dim also makes sense. But for me, I think I'll just stick with um, uh, the dark Azure Data Studio, which is this one, right? And I can also start writing my query. And remember the problem we want to solve. It wants to find the listing with a greater price, with a price greater than $500. A listing with a price greater than $500. So it's the same thing. I'm going to start with select, right? So what are we selecting? So I'm selecting what? I want to select... So what am I selecting? I'm selecting some few columns from the listing table. So I can say I want to select name, a column called name, and then I put a comma. I also want to select a column called neighborhood, neighborhood, I'm putting a comma. I also want to select a column called price, right? So you can see these are bringing, like it doesn't understand it because I've not run this here. So I can also say from, where are we selecting it from? From Airbnb uh, listing, right? From listing table, right? So I'm selecting it from listing table and then I want to add a clause to say where price, right? Price is greater than 500. Price is greater than 500. Where price is greater than 500. So let's run this and let's see how this looks like. Okay, so I didn't spell my neighborhood uh, correctly. I think it has you here, that's neighborhood, right? So if you run this right now, you will see that it's going to return a table that shows name, neighborhood, and also the price. And now this price is now greater than 500. So we are finding listing with a price greater than 500, right? We can actually do the same thing in your SQL uh, Studio Management as well. But right now, in your SQL Server Management Studio, but here we are using Azure Data Studio. I'm going to solve two or three problems here and also go back to, I'm going, 
civil server management studio and, and just interchange between the two, right? Now, this is the problem number one. We've solved our case study one. So I'm going to kind of uh, put a comment right here and say problem solving one. So problem solving one. So here we are finding the list, of, list where price is greater than 500, right? I'm just going to put problem solving one here. Now, let's go to problem solving number two. So what are we also trying to solve here? This is we are actually solve a problem right now. Name, neighborhood, and also price. Now, let's go and solve another problem. So this is how your query should look like. So you are selecting name, neighborhood, price from Airbnb listing where the price is greater than 500. Now, we're also looking at problem number two, which is saying that we should find listing that are not in the university district neighborhood. Unit that are not in the university district neighborhood. And that is the second uh, conditions that we are trying to find. So we are saying that we are finding a li the listing that is not in the university district on that neighborhood, right? So basically, we want to exclude all university districts, all university districts. So if I go back to my uh, query, let me go back to, I can either do it here or I can also use my uh, Azure Data Studio as well. Now, for you to kind of understand what is going on here, because you may even be thinking what is going on. Where is neighbor coming from? So if I do say, let's start from uh, Airbnb listing, Airbnb listing, and I just run this, basically, you will see all the columns that we have here, uh, basically. So we have the ID, we have the name, we have host, we have neighbor group, we have neighbor. Now, we have neighbor here, we have Wallingford, we have Georgetown, we have... Um, Fairmont Park, we have Wellingford, we have different things, right? So what we are trying to do is we want to kind of exclude university district. So look at this one, university district. We want to exclude it from our neighborhood, right? That's what we want to do. We want to exclude university district from our neighborhood. So basically we can actually do that, right? So what we do is I'm just going to add the conditions to this, but the condition I'm going to add is we have but I can, I mean, I don't want to select hall now when I want to show this. Maybe I just want to show name. And I also want to show neighborhood again. Remember our neighborhood has a U, which is this one. So I want to select neighborhood again. So, and also adding another where clause. You know, we are talking about comparison. Where neighborhood, neighborhood, which is this one, does not equal. So that's the does not equal sign. And you put that in quote. You put the test in quote does not equals to university, university district, district, right? Does not equal to university district. So if I run this query right now, and if you look at this now, you will see that this has actually excluded all the university district, the university district. So basically we are done with this problem solving as well. So this is problem solving number two. Problems, problem, remember to add your comments, you have to put this, uh, that, and let's say this is problem solving two, right? This is problem solving two under comparison, right? Under comparison. Now, let's look at another problem that we need to solve in this case study. So, basically, this is how your query should look like. So, you are selecting the name, you are selecting neighborhood from the Airbnb listing where your neighbor does not equal university district. So we're looking at problem solving number three, which is saying that we should find the listing that in the current hill, which listing do, was done in the current hill neighborhood? How many listing or which listing was done in the current hill neighborhood? Let's, for example, some people want to analyze their own data in current hill, so they need listing only in current hill, right? So what we're gonna do is I'll go back to our Azure Studio, Azure Data Studio, and then I'm going to write another query. So this is problem solving three, right? Problem solving three. And I'm also saying select. Now, what am I selecting? Let me select everything. Remember, we are not selecting only some few columns now because I want to know only the current yield. From where? From Airbnb listing, from listing, right? And then I'm adding a where clause now to say where neighborhood, right? Which is this guy neighborhood is equals to cran eel cran eel so i'm going to type cran eel where neighborhood is equals to cran eel so if i run this right now and let's look at neighborhood you can see that we only have the data set for 
cran eel here. All the data set we have here is cran eel and it's returning 38 rows. You can see it's returning 38 rows, right? But if I just run this without the where clause, the entire row we have is around 6,442. But when you had a conditions for cran eel, then it's excluded the, the, the other neighborhood and we have 38 rows, right? Now, let's look at one more problem solving under comparison. So what other problem can we also solve under comparison? So if I go back to my slide, now this is how your query should look like. So what are you doing? You are selecting uh, star, which is selecting all, and we are filtering your entire table to only cran ear, only cran ear. Now let's look at another problem, problem number four for comparison. Problem number four is simply saying that you should identify the listing that have a minimum stay or more than 30 days and were last review after January 1, 2023. Now we are making it a little bit complex to say, identify all the listings, right? That have a minimum stay of more than 30 days. So how many listings actually have people that stayed more than 30 days, right? People that stay more than 30 days and they were last reviewed after January, 2023, right? They stay more than 30 days and they actually review more than January 2023, right? Their last review was um, is greater than or equals to January 23, which is people that we review early this early 2023, right? So to do that, I'll go back to my to my Azure Data Studio and I'll say problem number four, problem solving four for comparison, right? And here I'm also selecting select, right? I can decide to select some columns, right? So I'm not selecting all. So I'm going to say, I want to select name, comma. I want to select the minimum night. That's the minimum underscore night, right? Because I haven't select um, um, that before. Maybe that's why I'm not seeing it there. Minimum uh, night. Then I'm also going to select last review. That's last underscore review, right? From which table? Airbnb listing, right? I'm selecting all this column from Airbnb listing. I can see this column doesn't have any error right now. So it's showing that you can find the columns in there. Now my where clause is going to have some condition. Remember the problem. You want to identify the listing that have a minimum stay of more than 30 days. Minimum night of more than 30 stay days. So we can say minimum night, where minimum night is greater than 30. Minimum night is greater than 30. So it shows that these people stay more than 30 days, right? And we can also look at the last review. So we can now do and because we are adding two conditions now, not just one. So and or or can actually help you add some conditions, right? So I'm saying and last review, right? Is greater than or equals to January 1st, 2023. You know, that's based on the problem we are trying to solve. So I'm going to put that in code, right? And I'll type 2023-0101, right? So January 2023, which is 1st of January 2023. So when I run this particular problem solving case now, you can see we have the name, we have the minimum night, and we have the last review. So this basically shows, these are the people that spend more than 30 days and they give us review from January 1st, 2023, right? And we've actually solved this problem on comparison.